Hello everybody. Welcome to the first video with my brand new name, Enlightened Energy. It was Crystal Butterfly because I'm a crystal child and I was transforming like a butterfly, but I've already transformed and it just hit me today. I was like, I need to change my name because I'm not the butterfly anymore. I've already, I'm, I'm, boom. It was funny because I just, I just, I've got this big stack of cards, right? And I just grabbed one and I'm like, what is this? The emperor, right? And then I said, grab the top one. What's this one? Oh, six of wands, victory. <laughs> I'm the emperor of my life. I'm getting victorious over what I'm doing. But I did that just a second ago. And what I got was the star card, which is healed, that burning that tower down. Look at her, she's just like the high priestess burning that tower down. That's not me no more. And then the page of wands, like, yodel -a -la -yo. <laughs> Right? Yeah, I can yodel too. I can sing, I can dance, I can do all of it. The thing is, is when you master energy, I'm just gonna put it right there because spirit's like, Spirit, my guides, my higher, actually it's just my higher self. The same thing at Abraham Hicks. She channels her higher self. She just doesn't want to say that it's her higher self because then nobody would believe her. So it's, it's easier for people to believe if you're getting messages from God or messages from this. Your, your, your higher self is God energy in the ball when it all comes down to it. Just like that. Seriously, I have a, I have two tarot decks. That's like 78 cards. And this one just, I went to pick them up and there was one that fell down. I don't know what it is. What's this one? Oh, King of Swords. That looks like an Aquarius energy. What's this bottom one that got left here? Seven of Pentacles, time to harvest. Look at that though, the Emperor and the Six of Wands. That's just like, I mean, do you even, I mean, that's just like intuition. Isn't intuition amazing? I'm gonna sit this over here because it makes me feel good. <laughs> Victory, emperor status. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Intuition. This one's just kind of peeking out at me. What is this one? Ah, oh, yeah, the high priestess. That is me, the high priestess. I am the, the all-seeing eye, <laughs> as spirit likes to call me, or my higher self. I'm just gonna sit that over here too because that looks really good. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It's awesome. Intuition is awesome. And the thing is, the more you don't trust it, the more you're out of the flow. The more you just let go and just quit overthinking it. Not react, but kinda. Just go with it. Yeah, just go with it the better because I remember when I started doing cards I didn't do it I never I've never done them for professionally before for other for anybody else I've just done them for my honing my intuition and talking to my guides and getting connection and all that kind of stuff what it does is I I get a message and then a card flips out like this one right here is peeking out at me for some reason the lovers that's a choice card right there Love is also, it's not love as a choice, it's that you have a choice to step into love or not. I'm, I mean, look at that. We got the Emperor, the Six of Wands, and the Lover's card. Boom, boom, boom with the High Priestess. That's like major, 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 major. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway, I'll set that right there because I, I like that. <laughs> My gosh, I got one, two, three, four four majors then the six of wands holy cow the tarot people would be freaking out right now they're like oh my god i've never seen a reading like that before it's like you ain't seen nothing yet you should see what i do off camera <laughs> i'm like the energy alchemist you gotta figure oh, i love these two too they're staring at me the high priestess with the star card just like boom so powerful isn't it when you can have a thought and it matches what you're pulling out of a card, think about it. 
why would having intuition be a bad thing? I don't know where I'm going with this, but I think we're going towards Adam and Eve right now. <laughs> oh yeah, they said look at the card. What is that? The apple, the snake, the two levers. They can never be together. Because it's a choice. You always have a choice to choose. It's like right now, my third eye, my, I'm totally vibrating in my third eye right now, so that means I'm getting an intuitive hit right now. Which means I'm getting a message or a download or whatever you want to call it. I call it the download information. My higher self is giving me information. When you look at the serpent, what do you think? What do you see? Do you cower in fear because snakes are evil? Snakes are just another animal. They're no different. But the really thing, the really one cool thing about a snake is they regenerate. They shed their skin. Have you ever thought about perception with the Bible? One man's perception could taint the whole world for how many generations? If you look at it again, And think of it as a snake being like a butterfly, regenerating, regrowth, death and rebirth. The apple being birth, the snake being death, rebirth, death, rebirth. What if that was more like what Adam and Eve was talking about? That would, that would have changed everything, right? Is how I picture it was like this. Adam was out working, tillaging the ground, doing whatever he did back then. They said, pull a card. <laughs> Four of Wands. That's unity, union. Levers and four of wands. That's that's somebody's union right there. Boom, boom. It almost looks like the Garden of Eden, doesn't it, in there? He was out <clears throat> tending to his man things. And she was tending to her woman things, which was talking to God. That was her purpose. That is a woman's purpose, is to be very intuitive, to lead. It wasn't until the energy got switched back to masculine that the energy changed and everything got turned to the domination type side of the wounded masculine. And that's when the stories got distorted. This was, was a planet of love. In the beginning, the Venetians came down here and made it the planet of love. And then after the first Nibiru cataclysm, it just broke the pyramids, which kept everything in having more of an equilibrium between the duality of the inner and outer earth. It kept that duality. But since we don't have that anymore, our outside is rageful and our inside is rageful because we don't have any balance anymore and because of that we keep having that cataclysm over and over and over that was the true story of adam and eve the masculine has his purpose and the feminine has her purpose 
The masculine was made stronger, bigger, thicker, more aggressive to protect. To the feminine is supposed to lead the way. The masculine is supposed to be her stability. That is what the true purpose of union is supposed to be about. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Becky, look at her butt. That's her mixed lot. Oh my goodness. Did I just say that on camera? The Emperor, the Six of Wands, the Star card, the Lovers, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the High Priestess? I don't even understand how that happens, right? Like, I'm still blown away. Like, this kind of stuff happens all the time. I'm just like, wow. The thing is, with intuition, when you can have a thought and it have it marry with what that you're feeling and what you're picking up, I, I just split the cards right here. And it come up to be the sun card. What about that? Who wants to have a sun card in the day? That right there is the best card in the whole deck. Now, whoever wants this reading, say, it's mine. I know I'm going to take it. Wow. Holy cow. If cards can teach you how to own in on your intuition, why are they not a good thing? problem with it if you do it too much then you get to doubting yourself that takes your power away because with the law of attraction and the law of the universe cause and effect all that kind of stuff there's like all these different laws when it comes to the universe you got to understand these laws know these laws work with these laws and then you can manifest whatever you want He want me to pick up this next one. I don't know what it is, but it was the one I parted. Ah, oh, yes. The Nine of Swords. This one fell down, too. Ah, I love it. The Fool. Boom! Going from the Nine of Swords. Laying those swords down. That's not your little circus monkey thing anymore. <laughs> Spirit's got your back. The sun is out. Boom. Boom. Da -da -dum. <laughs> and you got to understand that. The thing is, is it's hard to believe that you can get here when you're here, right? I know. Trust me. I know. I think I'm going to do a specific channel for spirituality for dummies. Because when it came to spirituality, uh, it was a dummy. Now look at me. Only thing I did, I didn't have anybody telling me that I couldn't, I can't. It's not possible. The only thing I had was spirit, my higher self, telling me, there's no limits. <laughs> Bitch, what do you want to do? And I'm like, that right there. Can I do that? That's what I want to do. I want to own it all. Can I do that? Can I, can I, can I? And my higher self's like, yeah. You got to do this, this, and this for the next three years. I'm like, bring it on. I'm going to kick my ass burgers in, in the ass. <laughs> Kick my ass burgers in the ass. That's great. I hope my laugh just made you laugh. You know why? Because I just raised your vibration. Why? That's what this is all about. You gotta feel good. If you don't feel good, your vibration's like, mm, I feel like poop all the time. Well, you can feel like that if you like to. Or you can feel like that. That right there is choice. Lover's card means it's a choice. You can be together or not. Where'd that one go? Yeah. So you got a choice. Boom, boom, boom. That's what spirit says right there. You can sit in that, or you can sit in that. Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. What do you want? I, I know what I pick. And you know what the cool thing about it is? You are the creator of your own reality. Therefore, this is your own virtual reality game. How do you like those beans? <laughs> we 
when you truly understand energy and the laws of the universe, the laws of creation, the laws of everything, and you've cleansed your energy and you've done all this preparation, energy is controlled by your mind through telekinesis. I have had telekinesis my whole life. Now I'm just honed it in. Telekinesis, you can do anything. Obviously, oh my gosh, I just got my CT scans back. I had a CT scan done in 2017 after an accident and then I had a four inch tumor where my cervix would be because I had a full hysterectomy in 2018 before I moved down, right before I moved down here because we were keeping track on it and it was growing and they wanted to do surgery and I said no. They said, well, we don't know if it's cancer. I said, I don't want to do anything with it. Just leave it. And the CT scan today showed there is no tumor. Anything is possible. And you know what? It may not be happening at that exact moment, but if you speak it and you say it, if somebody asks you, how are you feeling? How's your cancer? I'm curing it and kicking its ass. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Whatever. And it could be growing, but as long as you know it, that whole energy of knowing it, it's like cancer is like, like a fruit tree, like, and you're like, I'm willing it away, 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 will, gone, healed, yeah, cha. It's the law of the universe. It just has to be. You speak it into existence enough times. It has to be so. It just is. It is the law of creation. It is what it is, and I hate that saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, the next one, too. Okay, solar plexus. Boom, double power. Boom, boom, boom. That is you. If I can do this, you can do this. I knew nothing about spirituality, nothing. All I knew about was crystals and chakras when I was, you know, six, seven, eight years old, and then I shut it all down because everybody was scared of me. And I shut it all down, people were still scared of me. So I was like, you know what, F it. I'm just gonna be myself. This is me. If you don't like it, keep it stepping. Cause I'm a really good time. <laughs> Side note, you know who you are. Cause I know you'd be watching me. Anyway. Side note, I guess there's another card for that person too. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Five of Cups. But there are two cups there. You always got to remember, only three cups are spilled. That's the past. You got to forget the past. Grab the two cups that are full because those two cups lead to your ten of cups. They said, look at the ten of cups. Those two cups. Boom, -ba -dum -ba -dum, lead to your ten of cups. But that's everybody. Everybody, drop the past. Trust me, I've got a whole book. I can't even write about it. It's just like there's so much every day. They pile up on me every day. But you know what? When you get thinking about it and you quit focusing on it, it starts to go away. It, it's it's like it's like the momentum of your thoughts are like just that powerhouse of like that energy, and you keep thinking it because it just. It just constantly gets to you, you know, and that's all you think about is all the stuff that happens to you all the time. And you, and you just can't stop that freight train because you're just like, <laughs> it's just, it just keeps going. But if you can start thinking those positive thoughts, like I'm getting out of this situation, God is going to protect me. I know I'm down this and that, and I know, but you know what? I don't care. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm going to kick, I'm going to kick it in the butt and I'm going to, I'm, you know what? I'm going to kick it in the butt and then pretty soon, pretty soon, pretty soon the energy, energy changes course and then boom, you're not there anymore. That's how it works. That is the law of manifestation. You speak it into existence enough times, it is so. It has to be. That is the great thing. About honing in on your intuition and being able to talk to your guides because they have the upper hand on what's going on up there. I was so into this last winter 
that I would create my own thought and reality, project it out into the universe, have my guides give me the details of what it was doing to the energy at that time, stop it, get on that projected timeline and see where it was going. And if I didn't like it, I would get off of it, change the energy, change the thought, project that out and do that. That's how detailed, how fun you can get to it if you really want it. See, I've always been into like the really mysterious things and the curious things and the, the things that people are scared of, but why be scared of them? I'm doing all the things that people are be like, <laughs> making horror movies about, but I've never seen anything. Therefore it doesn't exist, right? It's just energy. And if you don't have a physical thing to see, I'm not allowed to see anything. So the things that I fight energetically, I don't see. So I don't put a, a mental projection there. I just know that that energy doesn't feel good and I fight it, right? And so it works for me. You can say, I don't wanna see. I don't wanna see. You have the willpower over your own energy. If you're clear, I, I've, I'm scrolling and trying to help as many people as I can before I, before I get too busy, which is already getting, it's getting, I'm, so I'm doing more videos because I'm getting lots of questions and I'm trying to answer them as much as I can. But I, people are just like, you know, screaming about help. There are thousands of people are screaming for help. They're screaming for help and, and nobody can give them the answers. And if they just understand energy enough and then they understand that you are the master creator of your own reality and then you understand that you actually do do that and that you have a choice that you can tune in the frequency of what you want to dial into of anything. And if you don't like where you're at, you can slowly change that with your thoughts and your thoughts control the energy. It just, because it's not there yet, you have to have faith that it's coming because it is coming. It is because it has to be so. You can't even believe the things that I've manifested lately. It's just absolutely insane. If I told everybody, people would just be, not be leaving me alone. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. And, and like that, like I was speaking, I was speaking, I spoke something into existence within, because I was testing it. I spoke what I wanted and within two minutes, I had the energetic download information of what I needed to do to get it done and I did it and I checked the energy timeline for where I'm going and I'm telling you what, I switched three timelines in one day. Hmm. I up upgraded, boop, 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 that much. I can show people how to do this. It's not easy, but I'm telling you what, it's worth it. Because you feel better physically, mentally, and energetically. I feel better now in my body than I have my whole life. I was hurting like you can't believe by the time I was 14 years old by horse accidents and everything else. I feel better now. The, the, the CT scan had two bone scar, uh, scars on the bone that, were, that I have healed. These are issues that I have on my bone that showed on the other CT scan. And on this CT scan, they're healed. She goes, I don't know how, but those two spots are healed on your bone. I'm like, oh, I know how they're healed because it's what I do. It's what I'm teaching. It's what I'm going to be teaching is how to heal yourself on a vibrational frequency that when you vibrate, your whole body vibrates light. And when your whole body vibrates light, it heals it on the nucleus. It's amazing. I know I'm like really out there for a lot of people, but all I do is talk to my higher self about energy. And it's, it's, it's difficult sometimes to talk, to, to, to just chit chat. I apologize, it's, it is hard. I'm a teacher, I wanna teach. And I'm like a supercomputer. I just want people to just start asking me questions. You know why? Because I don't know the answer, but you know what? As soon as you ask me, I got it, I got it. And if I don't get it, I got it, got it, got it. I'd, unfortunately, I don't like to deliver the bad news, so on missing people and that kind of stuff. I can try to help you out as much as I can, but my guides, my guides are so protective over me. You can't even imagine. And if there, if there's anything, any kind of energy that could come in and affect my energy right now, they will not allow it in and I won't be able to see it. So it's nothing that I can't do, but it's just right now I'm at a critical point in my energy where I'm mastering it and I'm honing it and I'm boom. 
and this energy that I'm projecting right now, like right now my hand is stuck in this position. I don't know why, but anyway. <laughs> Um, and then, and my, my two fingers, these two, my pinky and this one are vibrating the whole, yeah, these two, they're like pulsating, vibrating. Um, and that finger right there too is vibrating. I don't know why. So the middle finger isn't vibrating. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, really all it comes down to, I am the cleanest, purest channel in the God source energy right now. So I understand with the collective what everybody in humanity wants and everybody wants peace and love. And I'm here to show you how to get it and get it quick because we need to get it quick. I, I'm not gonna get into preaching about what's going on with COVID and the medical and the doctors and the shots and another round and another year we're looking at two more years if we don't stop this. I've already seen it. It's happening already. People are losing their jobs because they will not get a COVID shot. I will not get a COVID shot. They're losing their jobs and the government will not give them unemployment because they refuse the COVID shot. Where is your rights? We have to stand up now and we have to stand up quick. Because it's not good. This is why I manifested cancer is because I didn't want to be around to see what was gonna happen. But I decided to step into my true power and heal it. And because I'm stepping into my true power, I have to step into my mission. And it's kind of tough. So I could use all the help I can get. If you are all about energy, raising the vibration of this planet, raising your, your vibration, raising your energy level, raising your feel good, whatever you want to call it. If you just want to feel better about yourself, confident, a clearer channel to your higher self, to God, it is... I. God does not discriminate religion, sex, sexuality. That's you. If you're insecure about who you truly are, you're going to project that out and be around people. They're going to be narcissists to you. Or they're going to treat you badly. Because that's what you're projecting out in your energy on, on all the time. Even if you're a super nice person, your subconscious energy is projecting out, I'm not healed, I'm not healed. And then people receive that energy and play, you're not healed, you're not healed, so I'm gonna manipulate you and you're gonna be manipulated all your life. That's how the energy works. And this is what I'm here to teach, is you how to, how to, how to understand energy on an intimate level. Because you cannot truly co-create, which means raise your vibration, which means bring things into your life that are better than what you have now. with the same vibration that you have. You cannot bring better in with the same vibration. That's why I achieve to be better every day. I achieve to be better every five minutes. I'm ascending so fast right now. Ain't nobody can catch me. And that's the way it's supposed to be. I was protected for three years so that I could get this done. I've done what nobody else has ever been able to do. I've done what I've done in three years, but not with no help. All my guides, all my, my dad. My dad's been my number one, my grandma, my aunt, relatives, ancestors, ascended masters. I have a whole slew of them that are constantly just feeding me information nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. Because I had to hurry up and I had to do it. And I did it in three years, three years to the day. Three years to the day. That's just right there. I mean, I'm, I'm doing stuff. And it's, this is from like past lives too. So I've, 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 I've been able to make master things in past lives and then go back, achieve all that information, bring it into this life, mix it all in, and bring a whole new system that nobody's ever seen before to be able to heal your body, your mind, and your energy, which is your soul. 
You just have to understand your soul is energy. Your soul is with God. God is God source energy, a big ball of energy. So therefore your soul is energy. Energy is just existence. Energy isn't a man. Energy isn't a woman. You've been man. You've been woman. You've been gay. You've been lesbian. You've been you've been a chicken. You've been a dog. You've been you've been an insect. You've been everything. You have to be everything before you get to be where you're at right now. There's so much. And because we live in an energetic world, which is a virtual world, you can call it, because our, our minds control everything, because a placebo pill will cure a disease. Because you think it can, it will. Therefore, whatever you think, you create. Okay? Yeah, there's the other fool. Huh, there's two fool cards right there. Wow. I got two fool cards. Ain't that the greatest thing? My hand's still stuck in that position. It feels comfortable. I just keep it there. It's just, it's the energy that I'm exuding. I'm stigmatic, so I'm at the highest form of tantric energy you can possibly get to. Um, so when things happen, they just happen. <laughs> anyway, my other hand's fine. It's just this one's like locked. It's just pulsating, vibrating energy right now. It's just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know, I don't ask, I just allow. It's just too much to ask all the time. I just allow and then as I'm, I'm just kind of keeping up. <laughs> it's busy. I'm doing the best I can by myself. I just need a little bit of help. Everybody is so scared of the videos and everybody is so scared of the truth thing is, is after you sit with it for a while and sinks in, it's like, ah, it's kind of scary because it kind of feels true, right? That we can all exist in one world, that we're all brothers and sisters, even our animals are the same soul as we have, except they are helpless. They don't receive any karma. People that have souls that have a lot of karma when they come to earth, come in incarnated as an animal now because they're trying to get all their karma done before they ascend. Because if they don't get all their karma done, then they don't ascend and they got to come back and do the whole 30, 40,000 years over again all those lives. So that's why certain people are really like boom, 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 boom right now. And that's why I'm here is to help <clears throat> you guys understand that, the, that everything in the whole world that exists is energy. Your energy, everything is energy. Your thoughts control your reality, control energy. So when you put it all together, the system I'm bringing is never been seen, never been done before. Brand spanking new. Here's my hummingbird. That's the one I caught. She's really protective. Like when the other ones come around me, she'll fight them off. I, she almost landed on my head uh, was it two days ago. I was doing my, my mudras outside. And uh, she, I felt her like, her, her wings on the top of my hair tweeting at me. I'm like, <laughs> She's the one I caught. I posted that video on, on some place and um, they were like, you should be ashamed. You shouldn't catch her. They're going to be scared to death. I'm like, that's weird. She came back the next day and she's almost landed on my head today. I was like, <clears throat> she knows I'm going to hurt her. Obviously I didn't hurt her because she came back. She fights everybody off when they come around me. <laughs> she's protective over me too. <laughs> kind of like my guides and my angels and stuff. They're very protective over me. thing is, is everybody on this planet has guides and angels. And I want to teach you how to tap into them because my guides and angels are the ones that are helping me pick the cards out, giving me the ideas, giving me the little intuitive nudges. But if you don't understand that we don't have, if you, if you think we don't have help and you think you're all alone, well, you're not. You're constantly surrounded by an energetic force that you can't see. And I want to help you understand that and how to get in touch with them because they're there for you. But you have to learn how to search properly because if you go searching the wrong direction, you can end up in certain places and you don't have the mind and the willpower to get out of that, that can take you into some really uncomfortable dark places. So you really have to truly know your mind and you have to not fear anything because fear takes you down the road towards the AKA devil or fear or whatever you want to create because demons entities all that kind of stuff they exist on a lower vibration but you have to tune down your frequency into that fear ego state 
to be able to get into those and allow them to control you and manipulate you. You get into a certain high vibe, they can't touch you unless you think they can, which brings your, your frequency down. And when you bring your frequency down because you think they can, then they can. We live in a virtual reality. So this is the stuff that I want to teach people is how to, how to get into your intuition, how to understand, how to tap into everything that you can possibly want to, because why wouldn't you want to and play like a child? Why wouldn't you want to have all 24, did you know you had 24 strands of DNA? If you look it up, they have 12 strands of DNA active. The other 12 strands, they, say, they call them dummy DNA. They don't know what they're for. That's because in the ancient days, before the coccyx on the baby would get slammed closed, so many times over and over and over, pretty soon the DNA just shut down. I am wakening all that DNA back up and everything that I'm bringing is waking it all back up, which is helping everything ascend really, really, really fast. Because why wouldn't you want to get there fast? You know, why would you want to sit underneath a tree and um, for eight hours a day for 30 years trying to wake up your energy, not knowing how? I can wake up your energy real quick and I can show you how. Super easy. All you got to learn is, all you got to do is learn to be open-minded, understand that everything exists all at once, and whatever you tap into is what's going to exist. What you think about, you bring about. Your mind controls energy, therefore it creates the reality that you're bringing in, because the reality, all it is, is when you project out an energy, the energy goes up comes back as a manifestation so other people get that energy as part of your manifestation and then everybody just works into the piece of a puzzle as that manifestation comes together and pretty soon boom you meet a stranger along the street there's your manifestation that's how it works <clears throat> you're projecting out an energy into the universe of what you want the energy is going back into the people that need to come into your life to make that manifestation happen and everybody's playing their little part you just have to make sure you have faith that it's coming because it is coming. If you quit too soon, then it's like, oh, you don't want that manifestation? Okay, well, it's going to go away. What other manifestation do you want? So you have to keep that thought. Keep it. Keep it focused on what you want, if that makes sense. But you have to do it with the, the playful heart, like using your, your guides to be able to give you angel numbers and uh, uh, numbers on numbers on the screen or I, I have friends sending me numbers now and it was the number I needed to see you know getting other people on your vibrational frequency you can do that too you can tune people in that's what I'm doing is I'm tuning everybody into my frequency right now which is high I mean it is my vibration is like off the charts so I'm bringing you up to my vibration by you just watching this video and the more you watch it the more you're gonna get it one time it'll probably fry your brain second time you're like smoke's coming out third time you're like hmm fourth time you're like yep I got it now <laughs> so I would love it if you guys would like it share it get it out I'm trying to do the best I can but I'm I'm limited on what I can do so I, I'm asking for help I would appreciate it I'm giving you guys a wealth of information that I have learned for free before it goes in any of my books so on the receiving end I am giving you right now energy and what happens is for you to accept this energy, you need to give me energy. So this is an energy exchange. This is what you call energy exchange. If one gives and the other is just take, take, take all the time, that's not fair energy exchange, not back and forth. That's not how that works. With the law of attraction, what you give, you should get. So if you're not giving, then that person gets the karma. And then it's, it's just, when you're talking energy and how everybody plays the part, in everything it's just a crazy amazing it's like a, a maze when it all comes together it's like the universe is going orchestrating this thing it's like yeah 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 and see i can tap into all these different things and see what everything's going on it's like yep i'm like bringing it all together it's like boop there it is there it is you know it's like it's coming it's coming it's coming so excited there it is and i've already had that happen so many times it's just like mind-blowing I always like to start out small because it's like, okay, I'm just going to tiptoe in the water, you know, try out my little manifestation skills. But two years ago, I was always telling my mother, I'm a, um, <laughs> what, 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 I'm a manifesting mother lover. 
I'm a manifested mother lover. <laughs> I've been saying that for the last two years. And I guess you just think about what you bring about. So now I'm just a really good manifester. And so now I'm going to be able to teach people how to manifest too. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it can be as simple as you want it to be. And it can be as complex as you want it to be, depending on how deep you want to go. I like to go deep. So. That way I know pretty much everything. I'm not one for surprises, so. I like to have little feelers everywhere. <laughs> but unfortunately, spirit keeps me blindfolded on most of the things in my personal life. I just get to know all the ancient secrets. <laughs> uh, darn, my guides are sometimes. See, it's, it's, it's kind of like, I call it breadcrumbing. You know, my guides breadcrumb me all the time. They're like, they get you going one day and you're like, yep, yep, I think I'm going the right direction. And then there'll be like a stall. You're like, you're going too fast, you gotta slow down. And I'm like, <sighs> can I go yet? Can I go yet? Can I go yet? Can I go yet? <laughs> then they say yes, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. I just don't do good and I've had to sit still for so long I've had to sit still for three years and do nothing but channel messages for people and I'm like I'm just ready to get it all out I want to go out and play I want to do something so in a way COVID was a good thing for me it made me it made me sit down more than I was going to so anyway I hope you guys used COVID for a good thing and let's just manifest this whole thing gone because we can do that what we focus on focus on the good things that, that COVID brought and how great it is that COVID is disappearing and how healthy and happy everybody is. And that's all we're going to think now. We don't think ah, more COVID and more screaming because the more you scream about COVID, the more COVID is going to happen. Let's scream about what we love and manifest more of that in our lives. Have a great day.